this actually. This is a random one. Have you guys seen this? Hopefully you have. Gets back on the screen. Have you guys seen this little comment uh, about Elon Musk? Oh, big up all. Oh, we got a little super chat there. Big up my friend. Who is this from? Uh, big up Colin Leach for the 1999 super chat. Says, I enjoy your content. Keep up the good work. Chairs, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Leek, Colin Leach thank you so much Colin Leach I love the chairs I love chairs chairs is one of my favorite chauvinisms to come out of the last flipping few years honestly absolutely amazing how can he not be able to say cheers chairs how can you not say cheers how's why is it so difficult to pronounce the word cheers chairs <laughs> speech impediment in my ass i just think he's lazy to kind of fix his mouth up to say the words the right way but big up you colin leach really appreciate the super chat my friend really do appreciate it so back to what i was talking about there's this random um story that i stumbled up on guardian i think this was in part Elon Musk was doing an interview with somebody. Um, I think it was a far-reaching interview. He talked about different sort of things. But this is one of the interesting things pulled out from it. So the title says as follows. Elon Musk praises Chinese workers for burning the 3 a.m. oil. Here's what that really looks like, right? So he made the following comment. Uh, the the on Tuesday, Tesla boss uh, praised Chinese factory workers for pulling extreme hours while taking a shot at American workers. He said... There is just a lot of super talented, hardworking people in China who strongly believe in manufacturing. <laughs> what, what a statement. They won't just be burning the midnight oil. They'll be burning the 3 a.m. oil. They won't leave the factory type of thing. Whereas in America, people are trying to avoid going to work at all cost. Right? Pretty bizarre statement to make. Because obviously he's saying it as being, you know, a company owner. He wants his factories to keep on flipping moving. Right? But... The reason why those guys work until 3 a.m. and burn a midnight oil isn't because they want to. It's because they have to, right? And most of them have to work, what, 12-hour weeks. Some of the factories that they work in have bunk beds in it so you can sleep in. Obviously, we've heard the stories about the Amazon warehouses where they have to piss in bottles and shit, right? Absolutely madness type of thing. And obviously, here, this Google thinks it's the same thing. It says, according to Chinese labor laws, a standard working day over there is eight hours long, which is way more than we do here in the UK, with a maximum hour of 44 any worker beyond that requires to pay extra time i mean overtime sorry and obviously they will get overtime you click on images you see some of the conditions you see people sleeping on the production line looking very haggard look you know sleeping in the flipping lunch area like absolutely sleeping everywhere now my question is to you my um, fellow homeless cats and you know fans of comedy in general how much will somebody have to pay you to work in these conditions like how much I think the last factory job I ever had for a brief period of time, I don't know, I must have been like 21 or something. It paid like six pounds an hour. It was like a picking, packing thing. And it was really hard. And I quit after two days, right? But I was getting paid like six pounds something an hour or something, right? Crazy, crazy low salary when you think about the taxes included. So, you know, sometimes you work full time in a month. You, you, put, you wouldn't even sometimes clear 800 pounds when you take off taxes. But if you had to work like this, what would be the minimum that you would need per hour to be able to work at this? What would be the minimum? What would be the minimum? Because let me just find out actually, what is the what is a minimum hourly salary that they get paid? The Chinese factory workers' uh, salary. Let's see what they say here. Minimum salary. Uh, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at that, my friends. Um. As part of the local government's minimum wage standards, the local government requires workers to earn at least $37 per hour. The cost of one day's work is $4. A price rate um, wages are largely no one effect. So $37 per hour, right, is what they're saying in order for you to work those conditions. And the reason why I bring this up again to tie in with the comedy stuff is that these guys are always going on about comedy is the hardest job in the world. Stand-up's the hardest job in the world. Really, though? Really? Do you think the people working in Chinese factories have a flipping, um, you know, do you, do you think these guys might have something to say about it? Do you think the people that work in, let's, let's go tap this in, Sheen warehouse workers. Do you think these people have, you know, any complaints about the conditions that they're working in, right? They're not having the best of, of time. But yet here are stand-up comedians telling us that they have the hardest job in the world, mate. Did my mic go out? 
I didn't do that. Yeah, they, they, they're here telling us that like, they got the hardest job in the world. No way. Not even a sh not even a shot at that, mate. Not even a shot. Look at this. Look at the conditions. You're telling me doing stand-up on the stage is harder than doing this stuff. I don't believe it, mate. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Hold on. Is my mic cutting out or can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Or is my mic cutting out? Hello, hello. Um, I don't see the thing on, on here. Can you guys hear me over there? Hopefully you can. Let me get this off the screen and then move on. Hopefully you guys can hear me over there. Mic is good. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good to 